Hi, I'm Brett Hall with Timeless Travel Trailers. Let's look at our latest project. This is a 1951 flexible bus. This bus was originally built to carry tourists up and down Pikes Peak in Colorado. It served its time there and served well, and then moved on to become a motorhome in its later life. We have brought it into the shop, and we're stripping it down to its bare essence. Originally, this was powered by a Buick Straight 8, about 125 horsepower. We're going to do a few tricks to it as we go along. In its new life, this flexible bus is going to be a coffee shop on wheels. We want the best reliability and best performance out of this vehicle. To make that happen, we're installing a Cummins 600 horsepower straight six diesel engine in it. This engine is computer controlled, all the latest gadgetry on it to get the best horsepower, the best fuel economy, and the highest reliability possible. It even meets the latest air pollution standards for the strictest state in the country in California. We're transmitting the power to the wheels through a six-speed Allison transmission, also computer controlled. The entire chassis runs on air ride suspension. This is a factory fresh chassis from the Freightliner Corporation. We've already shortened this chassis up about 18 inches, so it'll fit underneath the bus with the proper wheelbase. Now the chassis is built with cross members between the frame rails. On this bus, the floor originally was actually at the bottom of the chassis rails. That way we have more head height inside. In order to achieve that with the new chassis, we'll have to pull these frame rails out and undersling them in order to support the body on each side. In addition to shortening the chassis for its wheelbase, we're going to have to lengthen the body to cover the back end of this Freightliner chassis because with all the pollution controls and that modern engine, it's a lot longer overhang from the center of the axle to the tail end. So we'll split it here and add almost three feet to the overall length of the bus. Now this chassis came without a driver's station because that has to be built inside the bus. Right now what we've got is the steering box and gas and brake pedals here. The unit comes with air brakes on it already, fully operational. So all the hard work has been done on this for us by Freightliner. By putting this system underneath that bus, we'll get great reliability. The owners are going to take this out and do a tour across all of the U.S. and Canada. So they really want the reliability behind this unit. You won't want to miss any of the progress on this bus, so stay tuned as we move along through this project.